Question number two, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order, order, order. I've called Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Conservation. Did he discuss the Tuki Tuki catchment proposal with any Department of Conservation senior management in the two months prior to 2nd of August 2013? If so, with whom? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, this proposal from the Hawke's Bay Regional Council has been applied for because they believe it will benefit their community by increasing minimum river flows, improving water quality and increasing the prosperity from irrigation in that region. Of course I discussed this proposal with officials because I had important decisions to make with the Minister for the Environment and Cabinet Papers on whether it was a nationally significant proposal and the appointment of a Board of Inquiry. These discussions were with the Director General of Conservation and senior DOC staff. Frankly, I would have been negligent in my role as Minister if I had not discussed those important statutory decisions with my senior staff. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Did he give any indication to the Department of Conservation on the direction or content of their submission on the plan change proposal? If so, what was that direction? Well, uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the decision about the submission that was made to the Board of Inquiry by the Department of Conservation was made by the Deputy Director General. Uh, I was informed uh, of the debate that was going on within the Department about the nature of their submission, but it was a decision for the Department. Now, the important real issue is that the Board of Inquiry has a broad range of views and technical expertise to make a good decision for the Hawke's Bay about what is best for their water management. I am perfectly confident that that Board, with over 300 submissions, with a range of views, will make a good decision. Order. Point of order, Dr Russell Norman. The question was very simple. Order, order and I agree that with uh, the point the member is going to raise. Can I invite the member to, raise, uh, to ask that question again? Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did he give any indication to the Department of Conservation on the direction or content of their submission on the plan change proposal? If so, what was that indication? Honourable Dr Nixon. Mr Speaker, as I said, the Department kept me informed of the debate that was going on within the Department about the nature of their submission, but the decision about their submission was made by the Deputy Director General. Mr Speaker. Point of order, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Minister gave pretty much the same answer to pretty much the same question. The question was about what indication did the Minister give to the Department, not about what the Department said to the Minister. The Minister has not addressed at all that question. I, and, I, and I agree. I'm going to invite the member to ask the question for the third time. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did he give any indication to the Department of Conservation on the direction or content of their submission on the plan change proposal? If so, what was that indication? Honourable Dr Nixon. Mr Speaker, I say again, I was informed by the Department of Conservation about the internal debate that was going on within the Department. The Department then made its decision. And well, the, I have. I have. And the members asking, the members asking, was, did I make the decision? No, I did not. Did I give an indication? No, I did not. Did the department inform me? Did the department inform me of the range of views? Yes, they did. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Dr. Russell Norman. So, is the minister saying? that he gave no indication whatsoever to the Department of Conservation on his views on the direction or content of their submission on the plan change proposal. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the decision about the submission that was made by the Department of Conservation was made by the Deputy Director General. I did not give the Department an indication of what that submission would be. Supplementary question, 
Uh, Dr Russell Norman. In any of his meetings with the Department of Conservation around their submission to the plan change proposal, did he make any mention of his and the government's objective of facilitating water storage outlined in his 2010 speech, Better Water Management? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, my best recollection is that, because I meet with the department staff every week, Cut your head. is that there were five uh, meetings of which the issue of my role in the uh, Board of Inquiry was raised. In four of those, the only issue that was discussed was whether the matter met a national significance test, and secondly, uh, who should be uh, on the Board of Inquiry. There was only one meeting, and it was simply a matter of the Department informing me of their submission. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. So is the Minister now saying that he had knowledge of the Department of Conservation submission, but he made no comment whatsoever as to his views on that submission? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I meet with my department staff every single week. At those meetings, we typically cover 20 issues. At one of those meetings, I was informed of the department's approach on its submission on the irrigation proposal. No, I did not at any stage say to the department officials, hey, look, this government thinks that irrigation needs to be expanded. As much as I said to the department is that we need to make sure, in my discussions with the Minister for the Environment, was making sure that the Board of Inquiry process was robust to ensure that the right decision would be made for the community of Hawke's Bay. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. In his discussion with officials around the Board of Inquiry process, did he tell them that he did not expect them to make a submission which would put him in a difficult position as the final decision maker after the Board of Inquiry process, and hence they should make a submission which did not take strong views one way or the other? Honourable Dr. Let me make Smith. clear that earlier in the year, when I first became Minister of Conservation, I did have a very direct conversation with the Director General about Boards of Inquiry. And in that discussion, I said that it put the Minister in a very difficult position if you were appointing a Board of Inquiry, if it was then making recommendations to you as the final decision maker, for instance in the King Salmon case, but that you were at the same time making submissions advocating a particular view. And I said to the Director General, in those circumstances, the Department needed to be very cautious about its submissions. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Does he accept that the effect of that conversation is that the Department of Conservation is unable to do its statutory job, which is to advocate for the environment, because their minister is telling them not to make submissions that take a strong stand to protect the rivers of this country, something he is supposed to be protecting? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, firstly, the member is confused. Primary... Primary responsibility for water quality rests with my colleague, the Minister for the Environment. And that member will remember many occasions when I held that portfolio that questions on water quality were directed in that way. In respect of the Department's responsibilities, they are for public conservation land and they are for fresh water and New Zealand's special species. It is not the Department's role, and nor is the best expertise in government on freshwater quality within the Department of Conservation. Point of order, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table the 32-page suppressed submission that the Minister prevented the Department from submitting. Point of order. On, 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 Mr Dr. Speaker, Nixon. I'm going to object because the document was not order. suppressed. Order. It's order. a draft. Order, order, then the way forward is that I will put the leave in it and the, uh, any member can so object. Point is that the member has asked to uh, uh, release a document that has a certain description on it that is inaccurate. Now, it might be up for the House to say, no, you can't release it, but no such document exists. 
Therefore, it puts us in a position of looking like we're blocking something, because this is a departmental draft grant, order. Not, a, not a suppressed document. Order. Order. I will hear from Grant Roberts. Mr Speaker, every member of this House has a right to seek leave to table a document. Um, clearly, uh, Dr Norman doesn't believe it's in the public domain. Having these uh, speeches order. from the government order. doesn't help the order and of the House. I need no more help from the honourable member. Every member has a right to seek leave to table a document. It is absolutely paramount that the member who makes, seeks that leave describes the document with absolute accuracy. I'm inviting the member, Dr Russell Norman, to stand um, to describe it accurately, and then I will determine whether to put leave to the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker. So Dr. This, Russell Norman, thank you, Mr. Order. Speaker. I am seeking leave for this is a two-part document, the departmental submission document, which went to the minister, dated 31st July 2013, and the document that goes with it, called Attachment to <coughs> Plan Change Six, Hawke's Bay Regional Plan, Reasons for Submission, which is the draft that was not submitted, Order. even though it was written by his department. Order. I think the documents, both documents, have been adequately explained. Leave us sort to table those two documents. Is there any? Objection. There is none. They can be so tabled. Point order. Point of order, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I seek leave to table the final submission made by Doc on the plan change, which is one paragraph repeated twice, submitted with the permission, no doubt, of the, order. Of the minister. Leave us sought to table. Order. There's an objection. That's all that. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Dr. Nick Smith. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to table the full submission that the Department of Conservation made. That is a lot more than what the previous member okay. referred leave to. Leave us so, so sought. So the House can see what actually was submitted. Leave us so sought for the Minister to table the full submission. Is there any objection to that course of action? There appears to be none. It can be so tabled. Question number three, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr. Speaker, my question. Is